talented gamer athletes coming to you from the end of the world tattoo and cigar bar studio in northwest indiana the mount everest of gaming excellence delivering all the gaming news and info that you as athletes deserve welcome to gamer athletes we are your host chris carr and dan martinez how what you doing up, today what up we're good we're good Good. We got a lot of uh, news to go over uh, this episode. Episode seven of Gamer Athletes. We're getting close to that tenth episode. Oh boy, the big ten, the double big digits. Ten. Holy shit! Probably gonna have to have a party. Yeah. Well, yeah, special episode. Ten. Yeah, special episode. It's it'll gonna be the just, same as the, the same. other one. Yeah. <laughs> just call it the tenth episode. Yep. yep. Absolutely. Uh, new releases uh, this week. Oh yeah, we gotta go over some new releases. Yeah. Some stupid, you know, the normal stuff. Some jackass shit. And yep. some good news. Uh, we covered Wanted Dead or dead, dead Review. If you're coming here That's, for real serious news, this is not this the place. is not it. Yeah. Well, we can cover like some, some of it. real serious news. It's like some serious shit. And like we, we got <laughs> we got the McDonald's news coming yeah. up here in a minute. So that is it hard hitting and very be, important to gamers. Are we a comedy gamer? <laughs> yeah, we're podcast a comedy, yeah, or is it a gamer actually, comedy? Uh, I think we're listening <laughs> or comedy in a few places. All right. Well. I because there's no specific place for like gaming. Mm -hmm. There's like technology and you get other buried shit, in that so. shit too. Yeah. So wanted dead review. What it got four out of ten. Yeah. Did you ever look at footage? No. So it's I don't know. It's like a what devil may cry ish. Hi fi rush is like a devil may cry ish too. Like you action. Yeah. Action. Go around. Okay. Get some quick time not quick time events but animation kill animations when you when you kill someone and. You gotta bring those up because Atomic it, Heart had those too. Yeah, it's uh, it looked good when they first showed it, and then it came out, and it's just they said it's the worst trash. Huh? It's it's probably it's the lowest score so far. Trash. IGN specifically gave a game so far this year. Okay, this this actually might some of this stuff might tie into a, a story later about mm -hmm. the game pass that we have later. But anyway, it's the, poop. Yeah, the Wild Hearts review. Like I, said, I don't I remember watched, what they gave it. I think they gave uh, it average reviews. Yeah, I, I, I watch gameplay of it. It looks fun. It's 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 Monster Hunter, except they say it's a less complex Monster Hunter. Monster Hunter is complex as fuck. Like the menus yeah. and like taking down a certain uh, beast, whatever you want to call it, monster. Yeah, um, monster is is really hard when you get to the higher levels, and if you're not like geared out right, you're gonna have a hard time. Okay. You, I'm surprised you don't play Monster Hunter because it I, is I never, like a, I just never all it is is, and is stepped into it. Elden Ring bosses, except you, your gear is way more important. Yeah, because in Elden Ring, if you're uh, <clears throat> your gear if you, means yeah. nothing. Uh, that's not a hundred percent. It looks cool. That sounds like someone who just played through it once and that's it. It's a <laughs> no, real fucking everywhere and any kind of tips you look up, they're gonna say, "Oh well, you know, it really doesn't Ring. matter." It's a real. F you should have maybe a high defense fucking take in a certain that. like. Uh, but poison or something like that against a certain boss, but where in Elden Ring? The, don't don't tell me Fuck you think the defense matters in on Elden your, Ring. And in, in, yeah, uh, yeah, poise and defense do matter. Poise, in Elden Ring. yeah. But I'm not just saying that. Like the talismans do. I mean, you can go from taking yeah, a weapon and like you're doing very little damage, and you can yeah. overpower that shit to where you're like one shotting uh, certain enemies through the game. Yeah, you're getting strong. But yeah. not your, your your armor isn't Getting really stronger. your your armor isn't really doing anything. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Atomic Heart review, mixed reviews, mixed bag. It's everywhere. It's uh, some people are like it's average. Some people are like this game sucks. I, I don't the the ones that I looked up uh, had it in the higher of average. So some, but mm. this goes to my. Uh, what I think about movies and TV and everything. I think people's rating systems are so hmm. fucking jacked. Because if you give, like, you'll go out and you'll see a movie that is, they rate a 10, and it's, so you're saying that this is the best movie ever made. Oh, uh, episode three of The Last of Us is, like, whatever everybody says, yeah. like, it's magnum opus. 10, yeah. Yep. So video games are the same way. It's, like, you'll give, like, even Elden Ring, I would, I love that game. I would not give it a 10. What? Yeah, because there's, it's got issues with it, too. What what issue? What? Uh, just give me the, just give me one. I just want to just hear give one you one issue. What do you think? I'm blanking is? right now. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but, like you know, there's glitches in the game or things like that. that I don't know. Lower, you know, the lower the scores. Like, I mean, you're talking about per like a perfect game. No, no, no. That the, hits the, every there's no every there's no such thing as a perfect game. 
Yeah. It's a masterpiece of a game. That's yeah, what they say. Yeah, Even yeah, masterpieces have flaws. Like, yeah, it, like but, I like Game of Thrones, the TV show, but I still would not give that show a masterpiece. <laughs> no. no, the I, first season on. was dope, but yeah, but I still would not give it a ten. Like, uh, what is it? Uh, Fury Road. <laughs> Let's go get it. people get that movie a ten. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but it's I don't, I don't know. People have their ratings They're like this is the best I, that's ever been made, and there will never be another best again. Um, so. That's why I don't rating systems are, are silly. I heard the character, the main character, is really fucking annoying. Yes, very. In atomic. In atomic okay. Oh, so yeah, you played two hours. Yeah, I think I actually have. Do we have we, an atomic have, heart section? We can. Talk yeah, about we this do have one? an atomic heart, so we can skip past. Okay, talking about it right now, it. we can get. I didn't see it. Once again, where did I put? We'll get that? through the rest, oh, and then we'll it. go right into it. Okay. Yeah, we can go into we'll my the rest of this list. review of Atomic yeah. Heart. Okay, uh, Liza P. August twenty third. Yeah, you can. Yeah, lives of P. It finally got a date. Yeah, and a dropped video, and some new gameplay. And I do have some more stuff. And some new, new yeah. gameplay. I do actually. Have I'm some I, stuff I'm here for it. I'm on board with this one. I think I'll probably yeah, I play think this it, one. It looks good. It's definitely on my radar. Yeah, it looks good. There's another one. Um, well, Lords of the Fallen, also another Souls like that's coming out this year, supposedly. You got then, a date? Uh, no, not yet. Lords of the Fallen does not have a date. 2023. So you have a whole That's year it. it could come out. It, it, yeah, it's a moving target. You never yeah. know. Which is fine. I guess I'd rather have, like you said, I'd rather have a good game release than a piece of shit that I have to. I'm always about leaving it in the oven. Yeah. A little longer. Yeah. Like, just make sure it's good, dude. Yeah, it's not a chicken breast. Don't it's, let it. It's yeah, a fucking yeah, video yeah. game. Yeah. It's, you <laughs> know, it's a slow roasting brisket. Like, right. Want it dead. Look, obvious. That either they were untalented. And where they didn't work on the game long enough, right? It's usually one. Of, yeah, there's probably three things involved in that. It's either bad, a bad team, uh, that's just not as good as other teams, and then there's you didn't work on it long enough, or you didn't get extra help, or upper management was like yeah. push this game out. That's the publisher. A lot of that's what happened to the old yeah. Cyberpunk mm-hmm. 2077. Upper management, and upper which is management crazy because Cyber CD Pro, CD Project Project. That's what you're supposed to say. Project Red. No, I'm going to go with Project. Yeah, I know. Yeah. yeah. Uh, America. Yeah, America. <laughs> CD Project Red. Let's pronounce some tortillas, too. Uh, tort- <laughs> yeah, we're going to have some tortillas. Conqueso. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but they, they're upper ma- they're a private company. They're not even beholden to shareholders. Who put out want or Wanted? I don't even know. You don't even know. Well, you should probably let, do some deeper dives into. Yeah. Yeah. But that's what was weird about Project Red. I mean, did you you didn't play like, it? Obviously, I did not. Just read some reviews on it. I did not play it because I was like, well, "What's the point?" Like, there's so much coming out, I can't even waste my time with yeah. something on a six, a seven. It's got to be eight or higher. Eight or eight. goes back into the game reviews. It does. It does. Unfortunately, it is because I don't have the time to check it myself. Yeah. Let's see. Wanted Dead. Who mm-hmm. publisher is One Ten Industries? Yeah, I they don't even know who huge, that is. Huge industry, huge game makers. <laughs> One ten. I don't. Know. I don't even know who they are. Yeah, I've never heard of them. <laughs> yeah, but <clears throat> so who's making Liza P? Uh, I think I just watched a video on Liza P this morning, and I can't remember who put it out. Honestly, <laughs> I can't find the developer on Wanted Dead. That's all right. We can move on from that yeah, because. Uh, I All right, let's go over some. This own. is just, I, I threw in some fun stuff for the opening of this uh, podcast. So, the garlic and vampire survivors looks like a nutsack. Did you come to this conclusion yourself? No, actually. You I were just playing no, it and you were like, huh. like, I've been meaning to bring it up since like <laughs> the very first time I opened that game. I was like, huh. Oh, see? They put so, a yeah. set of balls in there. <laughs> and but it's like, like the strongest thing in the game. Yeah, I kept forgetting about it. <laughs> until, <laughs> it's like, if I don't have my garlic, forget it. Yeah, you got to have the garlic. You got to have the garlic. Yeah. <laughs> so and then uh here's another um McDonald's plant based chicken nuggets. They're coming yeah. out. See, and I thought this was like really big gamer news because gamers love their chicken nuggets. I do love the McDonald's chicken nuggets. You know, I don't think I've ever sat and gamed and picked that as my snack. What's your go to gamer snack? No, I, that I can remember like off the fuck. It changed. It changed over time. One for one it was Burger King for a long time. And then it was Taco Bell. With the Whopper from yeah. Burger King? It, yeah. Okay. Or a chicken sandwich. O, o, OCG? O, original chicken sandwich? Yeah. Yeah. OCS? 
whatever okay. they call it. They call that the fucking restaurant when you order it. Oh, one OCS. Yeah. yeah. What? So Just uh, give me a chicken sandwich. Yeah. Derek. Then then it was a uh, Taco Bell, <clears throat> and specific the weird in World of Warcraft. <laughs> it was weird. I drank chocolate milk and ate fucking graham crackers, like nonstop. <laughs> I was like twenty three years old. That's a pretty solid World of Warcraft <laughs> snack. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't know. I was obsessed with it for a long time. I think my go to <clears throat> is uh, PB and J. I love peanut butter and jelly. Right now it's <clears throat> I like Coors Lights. <laughs> that's a, that's a go- okay, that's yeah. a drink. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but it's like yeah. it's like and some beer know, nuts. There's a lot of carbs in there. Some some chicharrones. Yeah, yeah I like chicharrones. <laughs> yeah, pork skins. We call them in here. Pork rinds. Yeah, we call those pork skins pork here rinds. in the United States. <laughs> what the hell's a none chicharron, that, man? Yeah, none of that Mexican speak up here. <laughs> They're just fucking chips. Yeah. So <laughs> McDonald's is uh, trialing their plant based chicken nuggets. Who's Good who's partner them. with them? Because KFC, it's like I added here, KFC has had these out for a while. Have they? Now? And Beyond is the company that partnered with uh, the Beyond Meat Company. Yeah. Partnered with KFC and some other people. Yeah, McDonald's. They've had them out here for a while. McDonald's McNuggets are going foul free. Made from peas, corn, and wheat with a tempura batter. Mm. God, that sounds <laughs> really it good. McDonald's has co developed with Beyond Meat. All right. So, so they're the same yeah, ones. They're putting plants in everything now. If they can make them close to what. The rich man, who you can't beat those original chicken nuggets. No, it's like a breast chicken breast <clears throat> in a fucking blender. It's delicious. And then they pink form goo. them into nuggets. That pink goo when you yeah. see it. Oh man, it's delicious. McDonald's like they yeah. that's they hit it out of the park with that one. Mm-hmm. For a burger, I'm gonna go um, fast food wise. I'll go uh, Burger King with their flame broil. But mm-hmm. chicken nuggets and French fries. It's McDonald's all the way. Burger King's closer to your house. <laughs> there's, there's a McDonald's as well. No, the McDonald's is oh, like right you know, another block or two down yeah, the road. Yeah, it is, but yeah. So when we do like a family fast food junk night, we'll go stop at Burger King, get a couple burgers, and then we cruise on Burger down King. to McDonald's. And yeah, Burger, Burger King, King is, is solid, severely yeah. underrated. Not, no, I don't people know. People are I, like I do obsessed do, with their McDonald's. Yeah, bro. I do do that uh, every once in a while. I'll go ask people like what their go to. But like, what is the best fast food burger? Like, just their base burger. Like, McDonald's has their Big Mac, which mm-hmm. is atrocious. Trash. Yeah, it's trash. So gross. The quarter pounder is not even good either. Usually, and Wendy's is what? Uh, the Wendy's is the, the double. The double. Dave's yeah. double. Okay. And then Burger King has their Whopper. And then, it's fantastic. Yeah. I hear a lot of people throw Culver's in there. I'm like, no nope. fucking No, way. thank you. You can get out of here with that trash. Ugh. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm not going to go with Culver's. So we just close the door on our Culver sponsorship. So, Sorry. Sorry. Germany gets these first, huh? Really? That's what it says. 1,400 restaurants in Germany. Okay. So Germany's going uh, the plant-based. Next, nice. Also, we'll start there. selling the McPlant burger <laughs> what? in Germany next week. What, who what has, a name. Who has the Impossible? Oh, who is it? The Impossible Wall- Whopper. Whopper. Yeah. yeah. Have you ever tried that? I've had Impossible Burgers, but not from Burger King. You, how was the, I've never had an Impossible You've never burger. had Impossible I always tell people, try it. No, I don't say not. If, I wouldn't if if you want, sure. But if you were at a barbecue and someone only had Impossible Burgers, you'd be fine. You would know it's it's different. It tastes different. It one hundred percent. But it doesn't taste bad. It doesn't taste as good as a real burger, but it does the job. So like, I wouldn't be like, this is bullshit. That's All you got is imp- Impossible Burgers. It fucking sucks. I don't think anybody. <clears throat> I, uh, what was it during the COVID pandemic and the, everybody was running on the stores? The only thing that was still left there was the Impossible Burgers. Fuck that, like man, that I were on the shelves. It, but the, the, <laughs> the, to go back on it though, it, you, you ain't a fucking plain burger though. You, you need it needs toppings. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm not shit. one of those people that you know is gonna trash on vegans or whatever it, uh, for eating that. If you want to eat like that, that's fine. I'm just it's just not my choice. It bleeds Whatever beet you juice when know, you cook it's it. Weird. It's, it's great. <laughs> just for me, that's kind of weird. I'd make normal ones and then I'd cook those. Slap them together? No. For the wife. Oh, okay. Yeah. She would. For the ex wife? The ex wife. The yeah. ex wife. Yeah. I have to put the caveat I gotta get on used there. To, I got to get used to that. You have to let everybody know out there in the podcast um, land that you're out. Uh, they don't need to know shit. You're on the market. Um, <laughs> you're on the market for a new model. But I would. <laughs> I would, you know, some, there are some crazy ass people out there that like, don't use the same fucking spatula for my vegan burger. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. 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 So they don't want to mix the juices. I guess. Yep. Yeah. All right. Um, this, this is something that I've wanted to talk about for a little while. And I've talked to a few people, the shitty 5g service that we have. 
Like, I, when I'm driving home <clears throat> and I'm watching a movie, <laughs> nah, nah, not that. Uh, <clears throat> when I'm listening to a podcast or something mm-hmm. and I'm driving home, I constantly have to go into airplane mode and go in and go out of it. And really? You have to do that. Yeah, I heard that a lot of, some people have that same experience with their 5G. Is it? Have you narrowed it down? I've never had to do it. Never. I've never had to do it. So I've talked at, to, at work, I've had to do it because I'm struggling with signal or something right. like that. So I've before talked to I got some Wi-Fi. people about it, and they said they have had the same experience. Like, my 4G was, like, way better for commuting. Um, oddly enough, Monday, the day after the Super Bowl, I think it was, that Monday, I left work at 10. As I left that place, yeah, SOS mode, no service, right? Yeah, I had so that same thing too the other day. The whole T-Mobile network in the area was down. Those motherfuckers. Because then I I ran into some other people, and they're like, man, my phone's not working. I was like, oh, shit, okay, good. Yeah, I, had to I, listen thought, to I the, thought it was just my shit. Yeah, I had to listen, I had to, like, listen to FM radio on the way yeah, home. Yeah, man. I was yeah. like, what the fuck is this? Yeah, I wasn't going to go over to the <laughs> AM and listen to the right-wing hate speech on that, <laughs> yeah. that dial. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so I I, kept, I tried to restart my phone and do the airplane mode. I was like, man, what the fuck? Right. So then, yeah, then I found out when I got into some internet. Yeah, that the T-Mobile, T-Mobile network issue. was yeah. down. Yeah, yeah, I've just had this I don't have to do that issue. anymore, though. That's weird. I've had this issue, and I've had Maybe two phone. separate phones that have had the same issue since I switched to 5G, but I never mm-hmm. had this problem ever with the 4G network. For a while there, I, you were right. There was, a, there was a spell. Actually, you know what? Ever since... I've been in Portage lately, and by specifically by like any time, uh, when you I come out, I have this. to it 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 yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it could be a Michigan one. Um, yeah. No, you said Portage. Yeah, but there's Michigan Portage. There's like three. Uh, we're not the. It's yeah, not the only one. Yeah, there's um, plenty of towns in the United States called Portage. Anyway, I have to. Indiana. I would have to do. It'll say 5G ultra settings. Yeah, and then I have to airplane mode and come out. It's weird. Yeah, it's just yeah. in this area. I didn't have to do it in my previous town. I generally have to do it a couple of times. Huh. Uh, I have to do it when I'm coming into the hometown here, and then I have to do it when I'm like arriving at work. I'll have to do the same thing and reconnect to a tower over in that area. Maybe they're doing something. I don't know. I know, but that's just something I noticed. Um, if you're listening to this podcast, this. Uh, you know, gamer athletes podcast at gmail dot com. You can. Uh, yeah, send the email. Send an email and tell me if you're experiencing the same thing. Yeah. Anyway, going on to um, the news, the gaming news and general news generally. What is this? This is nuts. What, Call of Duty on Nintendo? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so this actually I just found this morning and I figured it was well we're talking about. The Microsoft uh, commitment to bring Call of Duty to Nintendo is now legally binding. So it's definitely happening, we think. Yeah, we'll read this and discuss. According to Brad Smith, the vice chair and president of Microsoft. Yeah, the company has negotiation with Nintendo and has now signed a binding 10-year legal agreement to bring Call of Duty to Nintendo platforms. This got a lot of people starting to speculate. Official Twitter, too, yeah. Yeah, this has mm-hmm. got people started to speculate about a new Nintendo Switch hmm. because the ability for the regular Nintendo to have oh, this mm-hmm. is going to be kind of rough mm. yeah you're talking well, about 10 frames per second well, type shit they tried this shit before well they, they have fortnite on there but fortnite they tried this a, shit with call a, of duty a more dumbed down kind of uh all of it is easier to render graphics yeah. kind of the I'm call of duty the on game Wii is dumb i'm saying it's nothing like the call of duties on regular consoles yeah they tried this once <clears> and this why they keep trying it is beyond me but they would to make it run decent they would absolutely need new hardware yeah, but the Wii version is oh my god. Well, I it's, like I, it's, it's a huge try. franchise, and it would be in Nintendo's best interest and Activision Blizzard's best interest to give it to that, to be able to play it on a Switch. Oh man, yeah, but I mean, I'm not gonna play it on Switch. People that I want it cool, but I know I, better. Yeah, I, I probably I'm not a I'm not a Call of Duty guy. Yeah, so Caca Duty. I, I'm not gonna be playing it either. But yeah, and they put it out on their official Twitter. Yeah, you need you need definitely need some better hardware. Yeah. Once oh. you can start playing it on a shoot, play it on your phone. We had a p- couple people addicted to that version on the phone. Yeah. Yeah. See, it says the qu- big question remains: How exactly the game will perform on Nintendo yep. platforms? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, the game will be heavy heavily compromised. 
Okay, it says, uh, in our eyes, there are three options. The game will be heavily compromised in terms of visuals on the Switch. They will launch as a cloud version because Nintendo is kind of working on their cloud stuff right now. It works well in Japan. Yeah, or the commitment won't begin until Nintendo launches the next major hardware. So there you go. There you go, yep. That is the breaking Call of Duty news for the Nintendo Switch. Anybody who cares. Just buy a Steam Deck. I mean, yeah, yeah, the next version. Again, I'll stick with that one, the next one. When they get an OLED in that thing. Yeah. So um, in the speedrunning community and, like, no-hit communities, there's a lot of, uh, well, what happened there? There's a lot of, uh, they do a lot of speed runs for charity and stuff like that. Well, Mm -hmm. um, it looks like Hogwarts, not just Hogwarts, all All Harry Harry Potter Potter games are banned from charity streamers. So with how big this fucking game is. Games done quick is the company that said no more. Yeah. Can you imagine um, basically handcuffing yourself from using the biggest game out right now Mm -hmm. for charity Mm -hmm. Because of a bunch of assholes on Twitter that are talking yeah, shit. Because you can't detach the the bullshit from the game. That is crazy to me mm-hmm. though. Mm-hmm. This like is, you could you could raise insanity. so much money for like a good cause, but you're not gonna do that just because you're gonna you're gonna piss off some people in the Twitter sphere. And if you go through a lot of this stuff and all, <laughs> it's, like, it's for for someone with 20 likes on twitter you're gonna just submarine an entire charity event but uh whatever games and quicks ban hogwarts legacy from appearing during any of its future events done yeah. no more we can't use this to raise money i mean that's crazy to because me. we're so mad about it what kind of mm-hmm. people that don't you know I you explain the hogwarts legacy shit to people that don't play games, normies, yeah, 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 and they're like, "What?" And it, it, it's almost like they're, it's like this shit can't be real, and you're like, "Bullshit!" Yeah, this me, is like read it, all this. <laughs> yeah. Okay, as spotted by the gamer, uh, the recent release of Harry Potter game has been added to the Games Done Quick disallowed games list. Disallowed. Yeah, uh, meaning it cannot be submitted for consideration and won't appear during future event streams, according to Games Done Quick's website. Hogwarts Legacy and all other games listed or on the list have content views and an origin that was deemed unsuitable for the stream. Let me read this last. This is, let me, That's this ridiculous. Is, this is the interesting part. Let me read this part. They previously hosted a Summer Games Done Quick in 2022. Raised, raised over $3 million for the medical charity Doctors Without Borders. Prior to that, they raised $2.7 million for the organization preventing, Prevent Cancer During Awesome Games Done Quick. So they rent, <laughs> raised two point seven one time, $3 million for good charities. But now... You're, you're, like you said, you're handicapping yourself. Yeah, this would be a huge game to raise and win a lot of money yep. with. Mm-hmm. I mean, there's so, you know. Mm-hmm. Like, and then you could use, like, the irony. Like, you could use it to raise money for a transgender. They actually, um, <laughs> there was, um, I think it's called the Adam Project. But there were streamers that were streaming, and they're like, every any money that goes from this stream where I'm streaming Hogwarts Legacy, and I believe it is called the Adam Project, uh... Look that up real quick. Oh, Adam. Yeah, since you're on the PC. Um. Anyway, they're like, any money that I get from this stream, any donations, any of that will go to the Adam Project, and that wasn't good enough for people. They were still just giving them shit. It's like, they're, oh, it's not even worth it. Adam, like the Adam or Adam as a dude? I don't know. Adam, <clears throat> Adam's apple? Yeah. I have no idea. I, I think that's what it's called, though. I mean, I could be wrong. You can fact check me in real time. Um. But as far as I know, that's for, like, youth, uh, uh, transgender, like, awareness stuff or whatever. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to look it up real quick. Since Maybe it's not the Adam Project. I don't know what I'm thinking of. I don't know. Can't find it. Yeah. That's a movie, though, starring Ryan Reynolds. So, 
the Adam Project. Um, yeah, so I, I'm probably wrong on the name of the charity. But anyway, streamers were streaming this with that and saying every dollar amount goes to them. And like I said it, it still was not good enough for people who could not separate um, J.K. Rowling and the Hogwarts IP from Hogwarts Legacy. That's crazy. It is. It's so people will do anything. Yeah, we're in a, hurt themselves. We're in bizarre, point. bizarre world with a bunch of unhinged wackos out there just, <laughs> yep, going hard. Oh, and there was also since we're on the Hogwarts <laughs> yeah, Legacy yeah, yeah. stuff, um, I saw somebody uh, put out a tweet saying that it was just uh, right wing trolls that were out there. Oh, oh we're gonna trying to take everybody down. Oh, and the uh, Hogwarts yeah. stuff? Yeah. So, like, a bunch of right-wing trolls just went out there, and they were, like, harassing people to make the transgender community look really bad. We might as well go into the girlfriend reviews thing. <clears throat> okay, yeah, Hogwarts. we can go into girlfriend reviews. Like, yeah, girlfriend reviews. They, they, they put back. that video out, and uh, they shouldn't have. I don't think they should have catered to No, they should people. not have. So They caved. Girlfriend reviews, it's really good, really good YouTube channel. Yeah. Funny. Yeah. Uh, it's listed as comedy. They make really good content. They made a Hogwarts Legacy. They got pushed off their Twitch stream. Basically, she did. She got pushed off her Twitch stream from and their Reddit being was, harassed. Their right? Reddit was uh, shut down. Their Reddit was shut down and inf- indefinitely banned. Like, so they made like this video about it, and you know we didn't do it because of this, and we it, it, almost an apology. Yeah, and they didn't reveal, but yeah. not quite. But it 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 did exactly what they wanted them to do. Yeah, you should just kept moving. Yeah, like and now, then now that they know that next next time <clears throat> next time uh, there's another game that comes up with a little bit of controversy, mm-hmm. they know they can make uh, girlfriend reviews buckle. Yep, and oh, we and can make a video thing. about something, and we can get in yep. their chat, and we can we can yep. yeah. Instead of just banning these people from their chat, they yeah, you cannot um, negotiate with terrorists. No, do not do it. No. Now I'm not saying the community is terrorists. I'm just using that as terrorizers. A yeah, and terrorizers. Yeah, you can't buckle to the mob, or it, it's never ending. The goalposts yeah, will always continually be shit. And yep. even if you do cater to them, it's not like, oh okay, and then they're gonna like you again. They still hate you. <laughs> they're always gonna hate they you. Hate it doesn't you matter already. what you do. It yeah. does not matter. Yeah. So yeah, the, that's the, 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 like I said, feel bad for them, but they'll be back. They'll I don't back. feel bad for them now since they caved. They caved. They I feel bad that they caved. They deprive their <clears throat> viewers, their core, content. their core viewers, the content because they mm-hmm. buckled. And yeah, it, like that sad. could have been a funny video. Instead, you were making some like boohoo shit. Yep, it's sad. Um, <clears throat> speaking of caving, uh, Blizzard employee return oh, to yeah. work policy. Mm-hmm. Do you see this story at all? I did. And it's like this. I, I understand. I kind of get both sides. I get Blizzard said, "Get your ass back to work. Come into the office." Um, I don't get both sides. Honestly, you, you on think this they one. should just stay home. Yes, because the da- their internal data says that they were more productive being at home. Oh, okay. Yes. Uh, then okay. If that if that shows up, then whatever. Yeah. But and, I I don't know. Like being when I was in school for like design and shit, and you worked in teams, it I had a better inter interaction we well, yeah, have like creativity I, I, they're still not making i mean the people even though they were working from home they still had to go to meetings i mean even if they were yeah. on skype or whatever it's, like yeah. i can see having people come in to work but i mean the the money savings from the people i mean as long as they're still putting out and i mean they put out overwatch during the same time dragonflight they put out during the same time oh, they were working on it yeah yeah they're not Losing any serious productivity from the team from being at yeah. home. Yeah. And I wonder what it is. They yeah. have to justify the rent for that building. <laughs> that, that could be it. Or, you know, yep. it's the uppers or, you know, yep. the, the management team. And like, oh, we need to keep track of these people. Or something. I have no idea. They would be required to come to the office three days a week. But if you, yeah. But if you think about it, if you have something that you have to put out, Right, and you have to show up in the office. Let's say you you have to be there for eight hours of the day every day. They give you one task to do. You're going to get it done in eight hours. Yeah, but if you're at home, you might get that same task done in three. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. This post, uh, let's see. You know, yeah, they're mad. Yeah. They're definitely mad about. I mean, I get I, what a lot of it did. 
uh, opened up to were people that relocated. So now they'd have yeah. to probably, some of so these people probably have to back. relocate. Yeah, yeah relocate so back. <clears throat> so they went, um, that's another, um, blizzards always in the yeah, shit. Right this is now, another man. F from the blizzard management team after they had the, uh, <laughs> but was it them that had the, uh, or was that Ubisoft that had the sexual harasser CEO? Or oh, whatever? no, yeah, that's blizzard Activision. That's yeah, okay, Bobby Kotick. <laughs> yeah. So then they had, uh, yep. uh, blizzard had that one. And then they also had their other one where they put out the tweet or whatever. They've and, been in the shit. Yeah, saying that uh, it wasn't management's fault that all this was happening. It was the people that they walked back. This is a company this, that Microsoft is buying. Like, imagine, like, will you guys get your shit together? I know. What the fuck? They're dumpster. <laughs> you know what? All this news might be coming out to uh, <laughs> tank their stock price yeah, to so give Microsoft get... <laughs> a little bit of a better deal. Hey, you guys go act like a bunch of assholes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> so we need to get you, you know, it's going poorly yeah. for us. Please. <laughs> Lower your fucking value. Yeah, so we can actually pick you up, and then PlayStation can. They Those won't. They won't Sony fight guys you, keep crying. Yeah, they need do. you. To, we need you to say, hey, hey, yeah. Microsoft can have you guys. Yeah. Fuck it. <laughs> Just make sure we keep Call of Duty on the table. Everything yeah. else, fuck it. <laughs> yeah, and but yeah, Blizzard keeps on um, kind of imploding. On top of that, the, the, with the decline in their games and customer service too. I mean, they do. Yeah. you know. They have put out some bangers. I mean, I haven't played it. I haven't played Overwatch, but I, it got pretty good reviews. But then they had a lot of shit with that, too, where they said you could play. It, it, you were supposed to be able to play Overwatch 1, and then this was just going to be Overwatch 2 was going to be a completely separate game or whatever. But then they just completely shut Overwatch 1 down. They Overwatch shut it down. down and said, go play Overwatch 2. Yeah, which made a lot of people upset. Which a lot of, again, the, it's the Michael transactions. Yeah, micro. Yeah, micro. <laughs> The microtransactions. Yeah, they didn't uh, pan out well. Yeah, people were pretty pissed about them. <laughs> but I, I it's a game about like, microtransactions yeah. too, and they still fucked it up. This gets into my thing with <laughs> microtransactions. I hate it. I'm not. Yeah, I don't like them that much. I mean, like, I don't. Yeah. I don't mind people buying skins. You can buy skins as an equal trade off for what you're gonna get, but. Certain things, loot boxes, I'm not a big fan of. Just legalized gambling. Yeah, it's, it's loot boxes, but it's all cosmetics. Trying to get kids into gambling right? early. Yeah, it's all cosmetics, but it's nothing yeah. you really want, right? Oh, fuck. It's a character I don't even play as. Why the fuck do I want this? Mm. You know, that's why. But Fortnite is different because they were like, this is what you get. Yeah. Here it is. Even trade. Yep. Even trade for even money. Yep. Right. But yeah, Microsoft with their Game Pass. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Microsoft's Game Pass. But here, this is. um. This is interesting, <clears throat> the way that this is worded in this story. It's a UK-based report. I thought you fixed my links. <laughs> you didn't what? Mine worked my just links. fine. Well, unfortunately, um, my iPad's the one hooked to the big screen, so... Oh, no, go back into it. Where is, where is it? Where's what? My Okay, Microsoft Game Pass. Let's see if it opens. Nope, nothing. Anyway, um... Just- Anyway, with the Microsoft Game Pass, they said that this is going to infect, uh, or it's affecting um, gameplay, or uh, game sales. Here, I'm sending you. Go. Oh, look at that. Accept. I'm still. (laughs) Yeah. It's weird. Let me. Is your internet being weird? No. Uh, It kicked me off, so I had to go to my phone. Really? Mm Mm-hmm. Interesting. Maybe I'll try uh, Brave here. Yeah, see? No internet That's what access. it was. Interesting. Hotspot your phone. As we, I'll no. talk about it while you hotspot your phone. No, that's all right. Um, <clears throat> you can talk about it, but yeah. So any Phil Spencer came out and said that uh, it was affecting, and it was like cannibalizing their game sales. Mm. A UK-based so, report. Right, but there, there are quotes out. that probably might have been taken slightly out of context from Phil Spencer in that article that I can't mm-hmm. read. But Spencer cannibalized may not be true according to re- report. But you can see how having the Game Pass might lower game sales. Yeah. they. I, we, no one knows the deals that 
get Microsoft makes with right. developers. No, that has never come to light. What's well, funny? We don't know the contract. No contract has ever been shown. Hey, this is what we pay, and this is how the tier system works. Right. Like depending on how many people download your game, we don't know how but it works. I, at I all. don't even know if it's on. A, it's on. A, uh, from what I've heard, it's by like by hours played. See, that's what I mean. Like, yeah. I, no one's ever seen a physical so, yeah. like layout of this is how these people get paid. So if you have like one guy playing your game for twenty hours, that then they pay the company who made the game what mm-hmm. the cost of the game would have been, something like that. So I, I can see deals like that um, being made, but so you don't have internet either, huh? No, I use my yeah. I'm using my phone. What is going on? Yeah, you talked about the five G service and they fucking shut. I know. You down. Jeez, <laughs> yeah, fuck those those sons of bitches. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but I'm going through Comcast. So yeah, hotspot for my no yeah for my damn creators make the games available. I'm trying to see. It cannibalizes game sales, according to this report. Mm, I don't right. know. Listen, and okay, this goes into my, like what I was going to talk about earlier about um, one of the things that Microsoft does it has really well with this. So, like Atomic Heart, I don't think I'd want to pay seventy dollars for that game. One hundred percent, I yeah. wouldn't pay seventy dollars for that game. Well, long maybe. Well, yeah, that's because okay, that's because those games appeal to us. Yeah. First person shooters appeal to me. Yeah, uh, story driven ones, not like Call of Duty, but like uh, Bioshock, Atomic Heart, uh, Wolfenstein. Those have always appealed to me, but I always know what I'm getting with those games. You're getting about 15 hours, yeah. right? I am not paying seventy dollars for that. So if it's on Game Pass, it has a better ch- it has a better chance. So yes, yeah, so I don't fully believe money. that cannibalism is as no, far I don't, as it goes. No, either. Like I said, there were some quotes in there that were probably taken slightly out of context right. and some snippets from uh, Phil Spencer on it. And I, I just don't, I, I'm not sure. But being able to play like Atomic Heart, like I don't think I would have ever played that game at all. And if I would have paid money for it, I would have been, I, I probably, knowing what I know now about Atomic Heart and playing through it for a couple hours, I probably would have been pissed if I paid seventy. Oh, I, oh, no way, dude! Like, just it's so hard for me to to yeah. to buy something like that when I know how short it's going to be. Yeah, when I know it, uh, what it, it's, we're in February, it probably by summer. Yeah, it's going to be on sale for at least twenty cheaper. Right, like, and that's a big deal with people and games. Again, we talked about this before. Like, if if you're making forty thousand dollars a year. You're, you're not, not you're not going to go. I think the game pass game is much pass better is value way to than go. if you're going to do that. Yep. So, um, I guess I don't have Atomic Heart like my review on it um, in here, but we can talk about that now, I suppose. Uh, so I played through. I did going into speaking of that picking back and off the uh, game pass thing, but yeah, because it was on Game Pass, I was able. To, I picked it up and I played through it for a couple of hours. <clears throat> and yeah, the guy in it. Very annoying. Super annoying. Yeah, there are quick time events in the game that I Ugh. do not appreciate. Um, <laughs> when like the ro- like a robot will grab you, you have to press Y and then you have to press B and you have to press this to get out. To get from out. Under you. There's a dodge in the game, but it's a little bit wonky. Mm. It's, it's a dash, dash one way, dash another, and then for like the first forty minutes of the fucking game, there's like no game plan and it's just like cinematic. You're setting world building f- yeah mm-hmm. flying through it which another thing that i don't appreciate exposition yeah if i could skip it i'd be all right with it probably uh, but you can't it's not skippable oh those are the worst kind <laughs> not skippable <laughs> or the yeah. worst are when you when you when you die in a game and it goes back and you're like you cannot skip it like oh fuck yeah i can't go watch this and the again. guy the, yeah and the guy's in there he's pretty fucking annoying it's like they try to do this and maybe it doesn't translate because it was translated from, from Russian, Russian yeah. into American, mm-hmm. but it's like <laughs> real cringy. Like there's this robot in it that's like super thirsty. It, like really? it's a robot like vending machine. Oh, it's just I like spank me daddy machine. and all this yeah. fucking bullshit. And it's like it's just real kind of bad writing. That robot is kind of obnoxious in it. And there's a few things that are the controls are a little bit wonky, but overall they're okay. Uh, I played with it on a harder difficulty, so um, you run out of bullets pretty quick on the shotgun. The shotgun's the only one you have, and then the axe is, like, super shitty. It, uh, like, the way it, like, feels and swings. And then you have this charge. the melee feels real bad. I yeah, the melee's bad. Mm-hmm. 
you have a charge attack, but it takes for fucking ever to charge it up. And uh, I heard I, the music's good. Yeah, the music seemed okay. He I mean, sounds like Duke Nukem. The guy, the, the main character, like some of the stuff he says. Like an obnoxious, me. cringy yeah, 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 Duke yeah. Nukem. Yeah, well, if you Russian go back accent, and listen to some what, Duke Nukem, you're like, oh, my God. Yeah, like, it's but funny. we were teenagers, so we're like, oh, this yeah. shit's cool. <laughs> it's funny, like, he's trying to, like, they're, they're, they're trying to land this set of jokes or whatever, and they're just crashing and burning on the fucking tarmac. Yeah, that's all they said. It's just, ugh. Yeah. Like, it's fucking miserable. Yeah, it's pretty obnoxious. Like, it's obnoxious. Like, I... I I mean, I imagine there might be a way that you can turn them, turn them off or whatever, and just so then just the subtitles show up. Oh. Yeah, I, when I watched a couple of the reviews, I was like, "Ooh, wow, ooh, like, yeah, this is rough." The aesthetic of the game is okay, though. Mm-hmm. The robots are kind of cool. It looked like uh, the world would have been interesting, but again, they just kind of ruined it. With it was all right though. I got it for free. Um, I might play through it a little bit more. Yeah, just to. Um, you got get a little bit better lease. feel of it. You have it on yeah. lease. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, you know, there's there are skill trees in a game, mm-hmm. which are, I haven't gotten too deep into them yet. But those are my first impressions. A lot of, of the first game, person so. skill trees are just feel like, like it's not, yeah. you're just ticking the box. You're not really building out your character. Yeah. So, hey, they can always go with the Elden Ring and just pump my vigor and stuff like that. Vigor. <laughs> Pump my vigor. Yeah. Pump my vigor. <laughs> Pump my vigor, chick. Pump my vigor and strength. <laughs> but yeah, like I found parts of the whatever going through it was kind of eh. My, so Microsoft <laughs> Twitter's trying to charge you for two a subscription fact, two so you can have two factor authentication through text messages. Through, which is what do you mean through text messages? So you know, you, oh, does this you? We'll send a, a, a verification number to your phone. And then it's just authenticating who you are, right? Uh, and clearly, what we'll, the other thing is, is two-factor authentication through text is the worst one. There's a way to use an app, and then there's a way to recover email, which is probably a little better. Um, and they're putting the worst one behind a paywall f- because Twitter's losing money right now, too. All right, so let's $8 see. a month. On Android. What? 11 on I- iOS. See, what there the you go. fuck, man? Why is it more for <laughs> iOS? No shit. Because yeah. they probably have more fucking users on iOS. And they noticed. And so they're like, oh, fucking, we'll, we'll gouge these people. You think that that would be, it's the like a bulk this guy's deal. Issue? Who? Elon. Elon? Elon. Um, yeah, Elon. I forget who I heard it pronounced it that way, so I do now. Too, because okay. I thought it was funny. It's like aluminum is aluminum. Yeah, n- nothing against Elon Musk necessarily, but uh, he he basically he did take over kind of a dumpster fire. Yeah, you know I like the dumpster fire. It, it, for for me, the exper- overall experience of Twitter hasn't changed. It keeps <clears> me warm <throat> since <it's> like, he <clears throat> since he took it over. Like nothing for me, and nothing for like ninety nine percent of the users has changed yeah. on Twitter. See, yeah, he, people <laughs> people don't like him currently. Yeah. So he's every unpopular. small little adjustment that he mm-hmm. makes, which is the eight dollar a month thing, you know, I don't know. Twitter was losing money before. Yeah. Now you got to pay. So yeah, get out. It, it, overwhelmingly, people on Twitter are like, "Man, fuck off!" Like what they are. That? They're already using physical security keys or an authenticator app. Yeah. Like Blizzard. Blizzard uses an authenticator app. Yeah. So does um the Hogwarts Legacy you had to have an authenticator? Oh, you can. App. Yeah. To do. I yes, you can. I don't, yeah. But for two factor identification, so you're going to put a text message behind it. Well, let me pay for the worst one. Yeah. So <laughs> I, don't, I don't even understand. So, so dumb. Do, so you get a text message to make sure that you yeah. log in and then you got to yep. put in your code. I don't even necessarily like two factor logins. I do. I mean, honestly. I appreciate it because, like, even Capital One or any of these, like, bill pay, if yeah, you're on a VPN your bank, and but it doesn't it recognize your Twitter. phone, it's like, we're going to send you a text to make sure yeah. it's you. Okay, cool. Yeah. But it's the worst one of the offer what Twitter offers. So why are you putting that behind the paywall? Mm, I don't know. I don't know. It's strange. It's a strange little blurb. I just, I haven't had any serious issues with like for banking account and credit Mm -hmm. card information, things like that. I can see two factor identification, but for like so many people that use Twitter, I mean, who's going to hack my personal account for Twitter? 
I mean, right. Let me. Well, I mean, we're blowing up now. I know. Dude. We're you know, huge. We're going to be that two factor that, for, gonna, yeah. that guy talking about transgenders. I'm going to trash him. Yeah. With, I'm going to take his fucking account. Yeah, I'll be like, that wasn't me. What? I'll, once I see that tweet that says fucking Elden Ring sucks, I was like, you, you've been hacked. Yeah. <laughs> you're gonna know. Yeah, because I would never say that. Because Elden Ring is <laughs> best game. Yeah. <laughs> the best game of this decade. And oddly enough, it's my wallpaper on my computer. Yeah, see? I don't dislike you Elden can't Ring. Deny the I don't art I've for never it fucking now. denied that I didn't like Elden Ring. I don't know. You just didn't <laughs> play it very much. So, I, I played it once. Uh, That's all I needed to play. You played and you <laughs> played it on you played it with a cheat mode. You played it with I didn't a play, yeah, it's magic not a user mode. magic user and a it's fucking part mimic of tier. the fucking game. It's not cheating. I didn't have to get a game uh, genie or some uh, bullshit. Everybody always argues that Dark Souls need an easy mode. You just play it like Dan did. Play it with a magic build and a Fair mimic enough. tier. And I don't boom, care. I had fun. You're fucking easy mode. Yeah, actually, it's a fun game. Actually, you can certain play. parts were hard with that fucking mimic tier, even with the mimic tier. Yeah. Fucking put a bleed build on that bitch and let her go. <laughs> so I don't trust anything that bleeds for seven days and doesn't die. I know. <laughs> um, Tears of the Kingdom. Okay, Tears of the Kingdom. There. This is funny. So because I this, know you wanted to pre-order this no, fucking I did. cutting board. I didn't did you? pre-order it. You did, and then this article came yeah. out, and I was like, "Oh, cool! I get a piece of fucking wood." So you actually got this? No, no, no. They don't. You when you pick it up to get when you pick up the game. You yeah. Get you, it. So you're gonna get this cutting board? We'll see. While wow, supplies last. Is it last. an actual cutting board? Is what is it supposed it's to be like a picture? It's fucking it plaque, but it it's looks like a cutting board. It's just a wooden plaque. Yeah. With some fucking symbols on it. So if you got to cut your beef jerky, you got. It's not even the. It's not even a picture of like the the. The Master Sword or the Triforce. I've seen some memes. It's just some odd fucking shit. Yeah, I know. I've seen some memes about this where people are like, what is <laughs> this? Cut, cutting fucking fruit on it. Oh, yeah. The char- char- <laughs> charcuterie, charcuterie boards. Yeah. Charcuterie board. The Tears of the Kingdom charcuterie board. Uh, it was one of the biggest <laughs> video games due to release this year, and the fans have anxiously been waiting to see you. Different not- video games. <laughs> retailers pre-order bonus for the game. Uh, GameStop has announced that their exclusive pre-order gift, The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom wooden plaque. It's not what people had expected. Cue um, hilarious comments. Yeah. <laughs> click it, click it, click that part. Where, click it, I got it. Okay. Uh, let's see the hilarious comments. Yeah, people are probably, what the fuck? Yeah, man. Yeah, what a silly gift. I'm getting the collector's edition uh, from Nintendo, which is far greater. Yeah, I tried. I tried to get the collector's edition. Yeah. And it fucking it said no. I don't know. Video game companies are, you know, uh, known for this type of shit. What do you mean? Oh, I give a dumb shit lately. Giving you a fucking yeah. shitty shit for your some shit. Some are really good. Are some are really overpriced. bad. It's on both ends. It's either really good. We talked about the Fallout helmet. Like, it's either some yeah. shit's really fucking good. Their last one, What's Breath the, of the Wild, was good. Yeah. This one? Not so good. Even I, the collector's so edition comes even, with fucking pins. I need buy that and a shit. book or whatever. Uh, the plaque was a surprise, but it's a stupid surprise. I mean, I'll take it. Take it to my kid. Legend of the, what? What's the what's the meat that? They, what's the animals that you get the meat from in there? What the the the, yeah. the hogs the the yeah, whatever the they are yeah the boars yeah. yeah you can make a charcuterie board with those <laughs> put some cheese on there nope. <laughs> No cheese. No. All right. <laughs> Where's the, I can't. Oh, I thought that, that was kind oh, of. Oh no, you can't. Yeah, I thought that was kind of funny because I knew you were excited to get your um, to get your cutting board. I had no idea about it when I pre-ordered it. It was nothing. <laughs> really? Yeah. All right. This is a big, a big story. What's uh, that? The YouTube CEO. Oh yeah. Whatever her name is, uh, would you wish Wanowski's or whatever? Mike Wisnowski. Not gonna not gonna work here anymore. Yeah. <laughs> well, you, you, we'll we'll just we'll just sick eat whatever. One of the first Google employees to step down. Now, now this she's is, like an OG Google employee, right? Yes. And actually, this goes into the conspiracy theory about oh, Burning Man and uh, wow. this lady, because they're the Google was started in this lady's house. Mm-hmm. So, um, before the, we go any further, let's objectify her. What do you think? Nah. That's a pass? No, it's a pass. It's a pass, dog. That's not that's, that's a no for me, dog. I mean she's got <laughs> No. Yeah, six beers. You'd be fine. Shoot. We'll see. Need more than that. Anyway, anyway. So she's stepping down um right now, but like I said the conspiracy theory is is that uh 
um, the, whatever CIA ties and whatnot for Google. And this Whoa. was started in, in, in their base. Yeah. DARPA and stuff like that. You got to go deep the in the conspiracy chip. theory mm-hmm. stuff, which is kind of hard to get, get into on, uh, this particular podcast. But anyway, Google was started at her house. She's been the CEO for 25 or been working with Google for 25 years. Decides to step down. Now this goes into the bigger story of Gonzalez versus Google, which has YouTube. So Gonzalez versus Google is a legal case. that's up before the Supreme court right now that says that um, it's the platform publisher argument for this and this depending on the ruling on this particular case it could change the Mm -hmm. way that youtube is all all kind of platforms yeah this just youtube this goes uh, um a woman's or or a family's daughter was killed in france by someone who was yes and they said that they were radicalized through youtube videos and the way the YouTube algorithm works is you like one video, which can be an ISIS mm-hmm. radical video, it'll recommend you more of those. <laughs> so <laughs> I see you like this. They're currently trying to parse through um, what liability YouTube actually has. They're saying, yeah, that they are part of the... Pro- they. How do they word it? They said that they... like. It, what they're accusing them of, it would it would have to mean that YouTube knowingly, yeah, did it. But they're just a platform, right? It's an algorithm, right? And so the only problem, so this this goes back to even uh, further back this kind of stuff, the platform publisher thing, because there was uh, three internet service providers back in the day. Really, I can't remember the names of them, but mm-hmm. one of them was actually sued. Well, two of them were actually sued for I can't remember what it was. But one of them didn't regulate any of the stuff that went on there. And the other one acted more as a publisher. The one that acted more of a, as a publisher, the they were sued and the they won. The um section the plaintiffs won. won. Mm. That's where section two thirty came from. And I can't believe I'm blanking on the name of those two ISPs. Um Companies across the country could result in less speech online and fewer recommended playlists. I right. don't think it'll go. I don't think it's going to play. They, they, if anything, they tweak their algorithm, but they can't have someone sitting there curating videos. That no. would be that the would be of something would right. Be but insane. that would be more a liability than the algorithm. Yeah, because somebody would have to say, "Oh, I'd give you this ISIS video," and they, they oh, okay, yeah, we'll put it on there. Well, and it also goes to at what the users put it up, not yeah, at what YouTube. Point do people not have agency to make their own fucking decisions right. in the world? If someone's going to go get radicalized yep. by ISIS, they're probably already seeking that information out already, and YouTube <laughs> might just be a quicker way to be to get there. I mean, it's like but it's not. You buy a gun, you don't, and that person from the store, and the store is not liable because that person shot someone. Right. I think you're, this is, a, it's you're, a little you're, bit, you're an apples and tampons. I, it is uh, apples and tampons. Tamp- well, yeah. Everybody <laughs> says you can't compare apples and oranges, but who's that rapper? Uh, little, little Dicky or whatever said, so you can compare the two. They're, uh, yeah, both, fruit. They're both fruit. Yeah. So I always say like apples and ah, I'll throw something else in there. But anyway, apples and tampons <laughs> yeah. conversation a little dicky with the guns right. and stuff. Yeah. So I'm not sure. We'll have to we'll keep you we'll keep you updated on this story as far as it goes. But yeah. uh, if you Blame are interested you out there in podcast line and checking this one out, uh, Gonzalez versus Google and Legal Eagle actually a pretty lo- yeah, sizable Legal YouTube Eagle's channel good. has a very good breakdown very good video. Yeah, he's an actual an actual lawyer, not like me. His background reminds me of Saul Goodman though. When he, uh, yeah, right. He's got great hair and a beard. He's got a nice beard too. That guy I did notice his yeah. hair. Great beard. Yeah. Yeah. Great hair. This guy, nice snappy suits, but he's got a lot of other videos uh, that are real good as far as like legal stuff with the internet and things like that are concerned. So, um, yeah, there's yeah, that. I'd watch that video. That video should definitely be yeah watched to get people a real quick rundown. Right. So we went over the Liza P, uh, release date, um, Liza P game show. There's a game trailer right now up on, uh, the YouTube for, an extended gameplay trailer for Liza P. I am excited for this game. I'm bored. Maybe you'll get a cutting board. Wait, you're bored with Liza P? No, I'm on board. Oh, you're on board. I thought you said you were bored. No. No, I want to play it. And it's about Panaccio. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, it looks good. Actually, like before you got here today, I watched like a 40 minute uh, video on all the different Soulsborns or Souls like games that are coming out next year. Oh, really? There's like 15 of them. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, dude, the last few years, it's just been, they were like, oh, I see what they're doing. Let's yeah, a do lot it of too. them are. F- yep. Kind of shit, too. What? Mortal Shell? I did not like that Mortal game. I felt like I was walking through mm-hmm. mud the entire fucking game. I was like, all right, I, I can't do this. It's funny when you play like a game that's a clone and you're like, man, these people did it so well. What did they do different, right? Like, we don't know shit about making. Well, well what, what did like, what did, like how, Elden Ring how, and Souls like, games look at, do like, different? Like, no, I'm just saying, like, the, there's. Uh, different programming, right? Between this person and that person, like yeah. this person can make melee combat feel amazing. Yeah, and then other. Like, people, so what yeah. is it? What ex- like what is it that they're doing different that well, makes this shit feel like shit? From is soft it the impact timing on their animations games, and their combat is yeah. just impeccable. It's like the pinnacle of but gaming like, perfection they, as like, far as combat goes. They're just oh, man. I want to know more about it. Like if you're in in a good story and and having it light, laid out right in front of you without having to think about it, from software games are not the way to go. If you just like video games and you like playing video games not watching them Mm -hmm. from software games are the way to go i play them they're fine yeah they're they're great great. yeah they're fantastic but i also watch my video games yeah Yeah. there's a there's a there's a limit i'm like oh okay now i'm reaching this point like this fucking shit's going on now ever all that comes with like a caveat because a lot of those games if i could just skip all the cutscenes, like that's what is kind of something that's kind of irritating me with um what is it? Uh, Hogwarts. Hogwarts. Mm-hmm. I'm skipping yeah. a lot of dialogue. Yeah, there's a shit ton of like I the then then you're talking to somebody, mm-hmm. it gives you like three fucking options. The side question, I'm like, Phew. yeah, gives you, <laughs> we got three options, and then I I just go to the one that lets me leave. I'm just trying to do some some trophies. Yeah, there's I'm a trying to get them out flip of the way. a cow ten times with the yeah. flipendo. <laughs> so we got more PlayStation Five uh, Pro rumors along with PlayStation Six rumors. So the PSVR two is the, really good. I heard. Yeah. Oh, uh, Young E actually has a review of that. I watched I have quite not, a few people. I have not watched uh, the reviews of that. But um, going into this, um, just more PS five uh, Pro rumors that say that they're going to announce something in June. So I, yeah, it's inevitable. I I, I gonna, hate reading about the rumors because of course they're going to like. <laughs> of course there's going to be a new console yeah right i don't yeah, i don't know about an iteration because i think those iterations like we talked about before the ps4 pros and the xbox one x yeah uh i think those iterations did not sell well i don't think that they sold the amount that they wanted to uh and i, I just don't think that they're, they're going to if they put it out, it's not going to do well, right? Because we're already at 4K with what we got. So what are you going to give us more? What, what, what are you're you not going to get a whole lot pumped out of there. Oh, speaking of getting more <laughs> pumped out, I did one another uh, critique I had of um, Atomic Heart was uh, there was one section in the game where uh, there's a forklift. You have to jump on the forklift and it moves around kind of quick. I had a lot of frame dropping and jittering with that. Oh it no, was terrible. So hopefully that's not a. It, it was out. so bad. It was so bad. I couldn't even figure out what I was supposed to do. Yeah. And the forklift just happened to drop me off the right spot. But yeah, it was a little uh, irritating. So Ubisoft makes too many games. Ubisoft <laughs> came out and said that um, their shit's going downhill because they're trying to make too many games. Or they and they cancel a bunch <laughs> yeah, of games. So yeah, Ubisoft, Ubisoft says it cancels and delays games because it's working on too many titles. Ubisoft... Uh, has revealed the reason behind the numerous game cancellations and delays over the last couple months. Uh, During uh, a quarterly earning call with investors on February 16th, CEO, whatever his name is, Yves Yves Guillemot, yeah, shared that the studio had to push back the release of several games, including Skull and Bones, as well as pull the plug on several unannounced titles due to the overwhelming number of titles the studio is working on at the same time. We canceled a few games because we needed to make space for other games that are in development with the company and they're really helping all the other games that are progressing well. So there you go. Ubisoft's making too many games. That is why 
Yeah, that Skull and Bones has been in production forever. I don't even know the premise of that it. game. It's or just anything. another fucking pirate game where, like, uh, oh, so it's the one just going to be Game Pass. <clears throat> it's just going to, wh- oh, which one? Um, sea of Thieves? Yeah. Like, it's another, like, online that. game, mm-hmm. pirate game mm-hmm. with more story driven stuff. And, um, <sighs> no, like, people were hyped when it first got announced, but it's been like eight years. It's been a long time. It's yeah. even longer. It might so when you started it in production during the PlayStation 3 and now the PlayStation 5. Further is out. delay. Yeah. Let's see. 2017 originally revealed. Oh, so that hasn't been, that's only been five years, six years. Okay. Yeah, Multiple so delays, directorial changes. That never bodes well for games when you got to change the directors. No. When it's in <laughs> development hell, is what it's called. Like when yeah. they just keep fucking around and. Yeah, you know who didn't have that problem? Elden Ring. Yeah, they, well, <laughs> they ain't going to tell you about their problems yeah. either because they're a Japanese company yeah. and they keep that shit close to the chest. Yeah. <laughs> They'll fire half the crew and you won't even know. <laughs> I think that's what happened to, um, uh, what is it, 343 Studios and Halo, that uh, where they had all these different people working Bonnie on the Ross. game. Yeah, and they had, well, not just that, but they had all these contractors. You know, it made, started making a thing. And you remember H.H. Uh, H. Holmes, a serial killer up in Chicago who had that murder hotel? Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, he hired a bunch of different contractors to work on sections of the game or sections of the, the, the building at one time. So nobody knew all the booby traps and shit that he put in. Maybe that's what <laughs> happened with 343. Yeah, Suckers. Yeah. 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 <laughs> they just didn't want anybody else to know what the other team was working on. So you ended up with this hodgepodge of mess. This bolted mess. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> so, all right. You wanna... So we're at an hour we're on this on. one right all now. Right. Yeah. So I think this is the right. See, this is the exciting part of the show. Yeah, right. Yeah, the fuckery news. Fuckery news. All right. Uh, <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Have to make that into a sound effect yeah. here. Yeah. So uh, look at this. Okay. So so a meth backpack <laughs> on a pigeon. So this this is a prison somewhere. A meth backpack somewhere in the world. <laughs> yeah. A pigeon wearing a backpack with crystal meth detained uh, last month. Detained by Canadian prison. A Canadian jail. So yeah, these guys are using fucking homing pigeons to That's fly awesome. meth into prisons. That's awesome. We're going prisons. backwards. I mean, yeah. resourceful. Hey, it's yeah, very prisoners resourceful. are very resourceful. Mm-hmm. When you can't use the prison mm-hmm. safe, you might as well use <laughs> a pigeon. The, the old so prison says, purse. Yeah, a, pi- a pigeon was detained. How do you do? What? How did they? <laughs> yeah, and they got a little little set of handcuffs on that motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. the bird was found late and later captured. Wow. Yeah, the bird was found and later captured by uh, at the Pacific Institute Correctional Facility in Vancouver after officers noticed the flying fowl and its cargo. This guy's quote is funny. Who is he? He's well, the regional president of the Union of Canadian. What did say? My officers. initial reaction was <laughs> shock <laughs> because of all the advancements in technology and the number of drones we ha- or we've seen. Oh yeah, people are droning. The fact that stuff. it's tied to a pigeon is abnormal. It's just like yeah, fuck it, for dude. sure. Yeah, these guys aren't going to catch my pigeon. <laughs> the bird was apprehended on the yeah. penitentiary wall <laughs> after the staff set up a trap for it. Oh, Pete so, is yeah, com- coming. <laughs> it, w- it was spotted by correctional officers. I believe that the security and intelligence officers, or I believe, I believe, and secure security intelligence officers when the officers were doing their standard patrols around throughout the Wait. initial unit and institution on Friday. That the institute spotted a bird with a package on it. I want to see the actual picture. Of like, the you're not going to see the actual like, picture of the bird. I want to see the package. You just got stock see images of pigeons right I, here. And, like, and look and at meth. this fella. And meth, there's stock images. That image pigeon looks evil as shit. It's got a red eye yeah. on that motherfucker. It's, a, it's an Elden Ring pigeon. Hell yeah. With the swords attached yeah, to his yeah, feet. Yeah. <laughs> so I thought yeah. that, that was funny. The <laughs> introduction of drugs into federal prisons is becoming a huge crisis. The whole goal becoming? of prisons is to rehabilitate and release people into society yeah, as so law not true. citizens. That is so not true. So especially introducing in drugs States. is a scary and especially drug-like crystal meth. Yeah. 
<laughs> like, what do they say? The recidivism rate for uh, convicts is like 90%. That is not the job of the American prison system is not to rehab prisoners. Dave Get the Chappelle fuck did out the whole here. thing with Miss Cleo where he was like, he, the guy got out of prison and he calls Miss Cleo and he's pretending to be Miss Cleo. He's like, you're going to be back in prison. He's like, oh, I see something. Yeah. And he's like, you're going right back in that motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, the prison industrial complex in the United States where you have private prisons, uh, it is not in their mm-hmm. best interest to make sure that people are rehabilitated and don't come back. Yep. Yep. Hey, oh, <laughs> speaking, speaking of, of math, <laughs> yeah, so this, uh, is, this is actually kind of an older, this is a older story from uh, the November of last year, but uh, this is the monks on meth. Okay, every monk in a Thai temple defrocked after testing positive for meth. Those guys are Every, going in it. every monk, they, not, yeah, not just a couple. Okay, yeah, yeah. Just four. Yeah, because they were having gay sex in the Buddhist <laughs> the temple. Gay that temple. Probably, yeah, <laughs> that's the Vatican. It's they not, got not just happening. Hey, the, the Vatican's Vatican doing anymore. it. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a, oh, what's his name? Uh, uh, Bob Saget's got that joke from Half Baked too. Speaking of a Dave Chappelle movie, he said, "You suck dick for some marijuana." Some, uh, you ever suck yeah. dick for coke? So these Buddhists are probably uh, getting it in in there in the Buddhist temple. The Buddhist temple in central Thailand has left. Been, without, left. been left without any monks mm-hmm. after all of its holy men failed a drug. Why are they drug <laughs> testing sentence. anyway? All of its holy men failed drug testing were defrocked. Yeah, but why, I wonder why they're drug testing <laughs> yeah, ain't it? at the Buddhist temple. Yeah, it's not like they're in a an HR department. Ad- <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? The Dalai Lama has been called into the <laughs> HR department. It is a big problem. Pulls her glasses down the bridge yeah. of her nose. Yeah. <laughs> You four, my office. Yeah, now, now. It's just a clay room. <laughs> <laughs> She's tapping her pen on the fucking desk. A pen. So yeah. that's her, her plume. Yeah. <laughs> four monks, including uh, including an abbot. I don't know what that is. At the sure. temple in... Well, Fet- I can't pronounce Fet- that. Fet- 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 <laughs> Promise. Uh, Bung Sam Bung- Pan. Bung Sam Pan. Uh, district tested positive for methamphetamine. methamphetamine. We can Monday. say that word. <laughs> I know that one. Yeah. <laughs> hey, the monks have been uh, sent to a health clinic to undergo drug rehabilitation. Ooh. Are they the oh, ones sending the pigeons? I don't. Yeah. There's. Oh shit! They got an international connected network of prisons and monks. That would make sense why they weren't using meth. drones. <laughs> yeah, it All would. Right. That it makes just, plenty we just, of sense. We just fucking just crack the job. fucking code. Yeah. Yeah. The, uh, the temple is now empty of monks, uh, and a nearby village are concerned that they cannot do any uh, merit-making. Okay. Said. Merit-making involves worshippers donating food to monks. It's good deed. These motherfuckers get food brought to them. Well, yeah, but I, there's probably a lot of food going to the waste. They're too busy doing meth. <laughs> the, the place is probably clean as fuck, and any stereo equipment they had was taken apart. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Gone. The fucking electronics are just taken apart all over the fucking monks place. Monks will be sent to the temple. More monks will be sent to the temple to allow visitors to practice their religious obligations. All right. Interesting. <laughs> yeah. Uh, speaking of monks or whatever here, this is uh, the penis size has increased around the world. Yeah, yeah you're welcome. Ladies, ladies you're welcome. and homosexuals, rejoice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so anyway, they did an average penis size around the world, and I guess the penis size, uh, the average penis length has grown. Let's hear it. Uh, in has grown in length in 30 years. <laughs> Who's collecting this data? <laughs> <laughs> I got someone out there measuring dudes. Like I am, uh, I have, this is my goal in life. Yeah, they're, <laughs> the first line of the story is they're growing and it's showing. The average penis <laughs> length has increased great. over the past 30 years, a study has revealed. Uh, but experts warn it might not be ideal relating to every man. Uh, their it's ideal, not the ideal reality. You know, Every man has dreamed of. I can't read. I know. <laughs> As it turns out, size does matter. Researchers fear that uh, phallic inflation is due to unhealthy habits. So, like binging junk food. Yeah, shoot. Or Goes back to the McDonald's and being uh, mostly sedimentary. So your penis gets sedimentary. bigger the less you do. I thought it would be the opposite. Like of Phallic that inflation. Yeah. So it doesn't sound like it would feel good. <laughs> I don't want my shit. <laughs> You're just like blowing up. Fuck no. <laughs> I mean, I'm okay, already, I'm here, already okay, above average here's, dog. Here's who's, doing, here's who's doing the measuring. Published in the World's Journal of Men's Health, uh, the Stafford University studied and analyzed the data from 75 studies 
with over 55,000 men from 1992 to 2021, focusing on the length of an erect <laughs> penis. <laughs> this is the uh, <laughs> this people out there the, fluffing and look measuring. Look at before. Look at, look at. It's, if we're seeing this fast of a change, it means that something powerful is happening to us. I bodies. say so. <laughs> Bro, something's powerful has been in my body for a long time. Yeah. Welcome to the club, gentlemen. Researchers have discovered the average penis size has grown a staggering, staggering 24% <laughs> over nearly three decades. Well, I hope that I included my increase of 24% to this study. Been eating a lot of junk food, huh? Uh-huh. A lot of Cheetos. <laughs> Uh, uh, erect people's pain. What? Elect penile length is getting longer from the average of 4.8 inches. 4.8 to, six, to inches. 6. Is wow. this erect? I would think. Because if you had a 6 inch soft wiener, you got to take measure. You got to hog. You got to <laughs> <laughs> do some studies right now. Yeah. <laughs> We're cool. Yeah. <laughs> No, no homo. <laughs> Just hold it. Yeah, I'm stand, trying to measure it. Yeah, stand, <laughs> stand still. still. It keeps getting longer as I hold it. Yeah, we measure from the taint here too. <laughs> from the t- yeah, you're going deep. <laughs> yeah, uh, they say your average, the average size, you, your your size can be shown from your hand. They say it's typically from the bottom of your palm to your to your pinky, not your to your middle finger. It's all the way up there. Huh? Yeah. I got a good size hand. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, well, I, that was that was what I wanted to know. Four point eight to six inches. Four point eight seems kind of small. Four point eight is like it's like miniature. Who's what the? F- that's a baby dick. It's ab. Yeah. There's yeah. no way. Four point eight. Yeah. You that's guys a, with four point eight. <laughs> that's no a di- wonder that, she said it was small. Well, yeah. If it's four point eight, yeah. that's a dicklet. If she dicklet. says it's small. Just say she has a wide set vagina. <laughs> it's not yeah. my fault yeah. you, you can drive a fucking school bus in there Yeah, we'll do something with that inner labia <laughs> Yeah, surgery Talk about for that. me Yeah, they yeah. do yeah. That's, that's genital mut- mutilation mm-hmm. 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 I don't know much about that Chemical exposures from pesticides or hygiene products Could be one of the various factors really? causing the quick growth So people are putting deodorant on uh-huh. their cocks And Weird. it's making them bigger <laughs> Yeah, I don't know but interesting. What? I think so it's like, like a natural selection. Pesticides? Maybe it's a natural selection <laughs> thing. Over the last 30 years, girls have just gravitated towards dudes with bigger hogs, and they breed with these mm. guys with bigger dicks, and it comes out in their kids. Weird. <laughs> That's kind of yeah. phrasing. Yeah, that is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. This is a long article, no pun intended. Yeah, it's it's gone. The articles <laughs> it on just penis keeps going and going. also <laughs> gone up by twenty four percent in the last thirty fucking years, huh? Yeah. <laughs> well, hey, it's a good story. I mean, there's a yep. lot. At least half the population, around half the population, is definitely interested in this article. Mm. And I, I'd say there're probably quite a few women interested in this article too. Smaller penises are linked to fertility You're problems. really interested in this. You're going through it. Somebody did the work. <laughs> <laughs> you, might as, yeah, you might as well Jesus. give them their due. Yeah. <laughs> it's so strange. That is yeah. strange. It's a, but the deep dives on penis size have been criticized for preying on male insecurities. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. Maybe you guys are just... Tie in cinder blocks onto the end of their wieners. Well endowed men were less likely to face infertility issues. Wow. We're less likely to face yeah. infer- You got a big heart. Yeah, you that got makes kids. sense. Yeah, you're gonna be popping out kids. You got three. I got two. Yeah, I got I got three. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So anyway, uh you got anything else to add for uh That's the tip of the show. <laughs> No, this is, we're at the end. We're at the balls of the show. We're balls deep yep. in this show. Yep. All right, you got anything else to add for no, uh, any other ones? All right, this has been Gamer Athletes. Remember to like and subscribe on uh, uh, Twitter, YouTube, 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 Twitter, Instagram, Instagram, Gamer at, gamer dot athletes, uh, Twitter, uh, Gamer Athletes PC, and YouTube, uh, just Gamer Athletes. Yep. All right, everybody, we'll see you on the All next right, episode. Later. Wrong sound effect.